Christmas. Well, thank you all very much, and welcome here. I think the presence of all of you and representing so many different faiths is testimony that we still are one people and one nation under God. I, uh, I think it also indicates something that I've been talking about for a long time, that there is a great hunger in this country of ours for a spiritual revival. I, this traditional proclaiming of a national day of prayer goes clear back to the Continental Congress, maybe even beyond. The other day I told a group of people, I thought one of the most sublime pictures or portraits that we have in our history was of Washington kneeling in the snow at Valley Forge in prayer. I must confess I have an empathy. There have been some days I've been tempted to do the same thing. Recently on an incident or something, an issue that between myself and the Congress when there were very deep feelings on both sides, and I don't mean just the quarrelsome kind of political feelings, a really a deep belief in a position. And uh, I was talking to a senator and I trying to persuade him by telling him that I thought we both had the same common cause and uh, wanted the same goal. And uh, as he rose to leave, there was no commitment, but as he rose to leave, he said, well, I'm going out and I'm, I'm really going to do some praying. And I couldn't resist. I said, if you get a busy signal, it's me. <laughs> also pray. But I hope that you'll help make this, uh, this tradition uh, of a day of, day of prayer permanent. I know there have been some lapses um, since the early days when it started. I've also always believed that prayer shouldn't be a sometime thing in our lives, that uh, or just uh, invoked in a time of crisis or need. That maybe sometimes when the sun sets particularly beautiful or we come to a curve in the road and the view is, is very grand, maybe we just ought to now and then say a little silent prayer of thanks yeah. for the glory in which we are allowed to live. I know maybe we don't all agree on this, but I also thought that maybe someday we might be able to acknowledge God in a classroom once again. I've never been convinced that a silent moment of prayer would turn the child nation. But anything to strengthen our faith and remind us that no nation that has ever forsaken its God has ever written very many pages of history. The I find a favorite of mine from the Bible, a reminder in this job, Second Chronicles. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So now with faith in your leadership, I'm going to sign this proclamation setting Thursday, May 6th, 1982 as the National Day of Prayer. Since I'm going to use two names, I'll use two pens. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> Pledge our prayers to you and for you. Well, thank you very much. We really I, do. I've had a feeling that I uh, that I'm aware of others' prayers. I believe in intercessionary prayer. And, uh, That's great. We appreciate the job you're doing. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Thank you. 